Okay. <clears throat> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You went. Well <sighs> Vinny? I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast, and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. But they're rewriting us all! Even you! I'm not even supposed to be here! Just calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? Yeah, I understand. I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disordered. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. You mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower, but that, that don't mean nothing. All right, so let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of place. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. Jimmy! Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You are not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vick's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. 
Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, whoa, no. big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You were doing ah. so good. Right, here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get Pound back here, Jackie! Head for the bunker! He Tell must Eva ate I some pounds. He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Boy, this way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie! Dad, Jesus! I can't believe it, you're back! You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face! I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't, uh, know how to tell you this, but, uh... They arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it! It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he, uh... Jackie, uh... I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jack-offs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? What if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my Aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight.
5,000 years of this shit. You think these fuckers don't know how to be patient? They're probably looking at us right now. Right now! You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. The one time Nigel finally kicked me out. Jackie. You don't want to go up there. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my... Occupation. Yeah. Let's go. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there.